Assalam o Alaikum. Wa Alaikum Assalam. Are you ready for the story of the Prophet, my son? Yes, Baba. I always am. All right. Let's not waste time. Inshallah, I will tell you the story of Prophet Yahya, alayhi salam, today. Bismillah. Yahya, alayhi salam, was the son of Prophet Zakaria, alayhi salam. His birth was a miracle because he was born of a barren mother and an aged father. In the previous episode, we saw how Zakaria prayed for a son earnestly. Allah responded to his prayers and soon the angels arrived with the good news. They informed the Prophet that Allah himself has named the child as Yahya. When the Prophet asked for a sign, the angels said that he will not be able to talk for the next three days. Zakaria alayhi salam, could not talk for the next three days just like the angels told him. He had to communicate using gestures during that period. After a few months, the Prophet was blessed with a baby boy. He named the boy Yahya alayhi salam. Even as a child, Yahya alayhi salam, was unlike any other kids. In a world where children used to amuse themselves, Yahya alayhi salam, was serious all the time. Most children took delight in torturing animals, but the young prophet was merciful to them. He fed the animals from his food and he ate the fruit or leaves of trees. Yahya alayhi salam, loved reading books since childhood. When he grew up, Allah the Exalted called upon him. O Yahya, hold fast to the Torah, he said. Allah blessed him with the wisdom even as a child. Yahya alayhi salam, soon became the wisest and most knowledgeable man during that time. Soon, Allah blessed him with abilities to pass judgments on people's affairs. He interpreted the secrets of religion. He guided the people onto the right path and warned them of evil. By the time he reached his maturity, his compassion for people and animals increased greatly. He called the people to repent the sins. Once, it so happened that Zakaria salam, and his wife went searching for Yahya alayhi salam, who had been missing for many days. They kept searching and finally found the young prophet at the banks of Jordan River. When they found him, they were taken aback by his devotion to Allah. On another occasion, Prophet Zakaria alayhi salam, went searching for his son, who didn't come home for three days. He then found him sitting in a grave, which he had dug himself. Zakaria alayhi salam, was surprised to see the young prophet weeping. My son, the old prophet said, I had been searching for you everywhere. Why are you sitting in this grave and weeping? He asked him. O oh, father, the young prophet answered, didn't you tell me that the span between paradise and hell can be crossed only by the tears of weepers? The old prophet was surprised to hear the wisdom of his son. Weep then, my son, he said to him, and they wept together. They say that Yahya salam, wept so much that tears marked his cheeks. Yahya salam, found comfort in the open and never cared about food. He sometimes ate grass, leaves and herbs as well. He slept anywhere in the mountains of holes in the ground. Sometimes during the night, the Prophet would walk into a cave to get some sleep. The Prophet would be so absorbed in his prayers that he would ignore the lion or other beasts living in that cave. 
He would never pay any heed to the animals and would continue to pray and sleep inside. The beasts easily recognized Yahya as the Prophet and they would leave the cave. The Prophet would sometime feed the beasts from his own food. He would then satisfy himself with the prayers for his soul. He would then spend rest of the night crying and praising Allah. When Yahya salam, called people to worship Allah, he made them cry out of love and submission. He arrested their hearts with the truthfulness of his words. It was during this time that a tyrant king named Herod Antipas ruled over Palestine. The king was in love with Salome, who was his brother's daughter, and he planned to marry his beautiful niece. Even though it was a sin, no one dared to oppose the king. The marriage was encouraged by her mother and even the learned men in Palestine. They did this so that they could earn the favour of the king. But when Yahya salam, heard about the king's plans, he got really angry. He openly announced that such marriage would be a sin. He summoned everyone and told them that he would never approve as it was against the Torah. The Prophet's pronouncement spread like wildfire. When Salome heard this, she got really angry. It was her ambition to rule the kingdom with her uncle. That night, Salome plotted to get the Prophet killed. The next day, she dressed provocatively and danced before the king. This aroused the king's lust and he offered to fulfill whatever she desired. At once, she told the king, I desire to have the head of the prophet Yahya on a plate. He has defiled your honour and mine throughout the land. If you grant me this wish, then I'll offer myself to you. The king was bewitched by her charm and he agreed to her monstrous request. Yahya salam, was executed by the orders of the king and his head was brought to Salome. The cruel woman gloated with delight when she saw this. But their happiness didn't last for long. Very soon, the death of Allah's beloved Prophet was avenged. Not only Salome, but all of Bani Israel were severely punished by the invading armies and they destroyed the kingdom. Mashallah, that was such an amazing story. Ha ha ha, I'm glad you liked it, my son. Aren't you going to ask me the questions today? Yes, my son. Are you ready? Yes. All right. Now tell me. Who was the father of Prophet Yahya? Prophet Zechariah. <laughs> that was quick. Now, which tribe did the Prophet belong to? The Prophet belonged to the tribe of Prophet Dawud. Very good, my son. Why were there marks on the cheeks of the Prophet? Hmm, the Prophet used to weep all the time and this made marks on his cheeks. Very good. Now tell me, why did the Prophet oppose the marriage of Herod and Salome? Salome was king's nephew and marrying one's nephew was a sin. That's why the Prophet opposed the marriage. Mashallah, that was excellent, my son. Which story are you going to tell me tomorrow, Baba? Inshallah, I will tell you the story of Prophet Isa, alayhi salam, tomorrow. Thank you so much, Baba. Good night, Ahmed. Good night, Baba.